In the 2010 percussion final, Lucy stole the show with Frank Zappa's The Black Page. Lucy Landimore. Oh. Like many percussionists, after completing her studies at the Royal College of Music, Lucy's career could have gone in any direction until she got an unexpected message. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Jess. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm very excited to talk to you. I was really interested to know after you competed in BBC Musician in, was it 2010? And you're a semi finalist. Did you know where your career was heading at that point? Uh, yeah, after college, I didn't have any gigs. <laughs> and then suddenly an email came through. Uh, Lucy, can you send me your biography, photos, and videos? So we're going to do a um, I'm trying to get you into a show with Hans Zimmer. This is from Mike Dolbear, who was setting up the drummers for Hans Zimmer back then, and that was in 2014 in September. So I thought, okay, good start. <laughs> in Hans Zimmer concerts, everyone thinks they're going to listen to film music, but they're not. They're listening to classical music. So I think actually. Secretly, the film music industry is the best way to make classical music more accessible to the general public. I think now there seems to be this idea that kind of, for me, there seems a world of possibility. With an instrument like I play, saxophone, you can be playing in a jazz band one minute, you can be playing classical the next, and there's this idea of being a sort of portfolio or hybrid musician. Is that something that was always important to you, to have variation and to be reaching out to different audiences. It is very important to me because I'm fascinated by so many different styles of music. Each style of music brings a different understanding to another style of music once you know more about it. Uh, I went to Rio to study samba and then I went to Cuba to study the Cuban genres. So taking inspiration from around the world and, and being very immersed in the culture and learning from the people in that area, has that been a big part of your learning yes. experience? For example, when I was having a drum lesson with uh, Rodney Barreto in Cuba, I, we started the drum lesson, I said, how do I apply these rhythms to the drum set? And he said, basically, what you just need to do, play on the off beats and occasionally play an on beat and then everyone goes, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so I do that now when I'm playing Cuban music, it seems to work. <laughs> <laughs> and what about composing? When did you start composing? I think 11 I started composing. And since then I had a little break when I went to college. And then after college I felt like there was something missing. And I tried composing again and oh, that was it. And I love it and I can't believe that I ever left it behind now. And since then, since I started composing again, I arranged some of my compositions that were originally duets for full orchestra. So there's one piece called Rue. Um, like a kangaroo <laughs> uh, that was originally a vibraphone and violin duet and then I arranged it for basically a vibraphone and violin concerto with orchestra and I've also arranged it for band as well because it has a lot of Latin rhythms in there. The thing I'm most proud of myself is um, a orchestral composition I composed for the, the Pouplange Classique Festival in Geneva and that was for full orchestra and 13 soloists wow. so that was a bit crazy. <laughs> soloists were all fantastic as well, I had this uh, quartet of Russian violinists over here, they were fantastic, their sound was so big and uh, some cellists and also a saxophonist um, Daniel Schneider, clarinet, accordion, and also me on drums. So I wrote myself a nice drum part, but I didn't want to get in the way. And uh, that was to bring all the soloists together at the end of the concert, so I could, I could write something quite exciting. And what about the future? Do you have any exciting projects in the pipeline? Well, we're going to uh, some more places around the world with the world of Hans Zimmer. I'm really looking forward to that and eventually I want to play around Europe or around the world with my own concert of my own music. That would be amazing, the best outcome. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us, it's been great to talk to you. Thank you.